Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> really heavy. Okay, so I grew Jerusalem artichokes for the first time. Or sunchokes, as I like to call them around here. I'm not really sure why they're called Jerusalem artichokes. I was just reading up a little bit on them this morning. And it says that neither are they from Jerusalem, nor are they artichokes. However, they are kind of related to artichokes through the daisy family. Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay, weird, knobbly. You know, I say it's the first time I've grown them. I actually did grow these many years ago, but I've grown them as a type of uh, sunflower. And I didn't realize that the tubers were edible. And uh, it took me a long while to get rid of them. And then when I finally got rid of them, I realized what they were. And then I wanted them back. <laughs> ah. Well, we're getting a few just from the bottom of the plants. And I'm going to tip the rest out in a minute. Hey, it's looking pretty nice. You know, I only started with a couple. Oh my word. Here we go. I think we should just tip the whole lot out and see what we've got. point I would say I am getting a better return than I do with my potatoes wow this is something there we go uh, not too bad at all uh, I started off with I can't remember it was probably two or three of these things and uh, we've ended up with a a hell of a lot of return now I've been told by a couple of people that uh, to replant these straight away as soon as I've uh, harvested them which I am going to do and I also read this morning that they're not really too fussy about soil they will kind of pretty much grow in most kind of soils and in pretty much any type of condition they'll grow in partial shade to full sun they'll grow in hotter areas cooler areas i think they're pretty easy to grow so i'm just gonna fill this bucket back up and put some of the tubers back in and i think we'll be good for next year I was hoping I could grow some greens, some salad greens in the greenhouse over winter, but I think I may have left it a little bit late. I don't think these plants are big enough. I suppose I could put some light on them, but uh, I'll give it a go anyway. I tried to do them outside last year, but unfortunately the slugs just ate everything. And uh, I'm thinking about trying some radishes and uh, maybe a little bit of spinach. All depends on how cold the winter gets, eh? Yeah, we'll give it a go. We've had a few really cold nights. We've had our first frost already, and that is a month ahead of schedule. Uh, I think we're used to it about November the 10th, November the 11th, somewhere around there. And this year, on October 9th, we had our first frost. So we're suffering. <laughs> For the west coast but uh, right now it's thanksgiving weekend this weekend and the temperature's pretty nice actually probably about 14 degrees 15 degrees celsius so can't complain too much we've got a few bits and bobs here i'm not sure that it's going to grow but we can see if it at least stays alive I have some broad beans and I grew broad beans 
a couple of years ago. I didn't bother with them this year, uh, and that was because I didn't like the black fly that came with them. But uh, I'm prepared to give them another go. Now, the last time I grew them, I sown them at this time of year and overwintered them. But then I found out that by overwintering them, it only gave me like less than two weeks on other people's broad beans that had sown theirs in the spring. And because these do germinate in cool weather, you can sow them early. And I'm just reading here, it says uh, 55 days open pollinated. 55 days, that's two months. Like, I, I'm not sure why I should be sowing them now. I don't see what the benefit is going to be. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sow just half a dozen and then I'll sow half a dozen more in the spring and we'll see how much I gain by overwintering them because one of the things I really want to start getting to grips on is getting the timings right you know why bother sowing stuff early if there's no benefit for, from it so yeah I'll sow them and we'll see Okay, so, carrot in a bottle. How did it do? <laughs> oh, there has to be at least an ounce of pure crapness there. <laughs> There's more hair than there is carrot. <laughs> oh dear. And the wonderful Mrs. Coleman has made us some parsnips and sun choke fries for a lunchtime snack. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and feel free to converse in the comment section below. We'll see you all soon. Cheers.